previously on Storytime Tuesday. I'm trying to think of that concert in Jackson was uh, the first time I saw them. I, I go back because I, I went to jail that night. And you know what? That's another story. But anyway, um, you know what it is. Storytime Tuesday. All right, there's going to be a few of these. So, no judgment, uh, please. Uh, <laughs> so, um, I know you saw the title. Um, let's get to the shenanigans. So, I heard about this Napa Roots concert. Y'all know I love the Napa Roots. It was Jackson, Mississippi. I do not remember the year. All I know is we went, and by we, I mean me and Baby Boy. Now, Baby Boy drove. Um, I needed him to drive because of the situations with my, with my, with my license at the time. <clears throat> I needed him to drive. So we get up to Jackson. He's driving, no problem. Baby boy got this little blue bag, this little blue carrying case, little thing with him, like, you know, little square joint, whatever. Um, usually when we take a lot of road trips, which we did a lot back then, uh, he would have all kind of little snacks and God knows what, <laughs> whatever else in there. So uh, didn't pay it no mind. Don't forget about that little blue container. Now. Um, hey man, get to the concert, Napa Roots, all of them, you know what I'm saying? This may have been before the concert where we opened up for them at Hattiesburg that I told y'all about on episode uh, two, I believe it was. I just remember it being a great concert. My man Kamikaze was there, um, you know what I mean? Uh, which uh, I, I didn't mention the other, Kamikaze actually uh, went on a national tour with the Napa Roots. Um, uh, a few years uh, before this, so he's always got a you know had a, a good relationship with him, so it was good to see him up there mobbing and vibing with everybody and all that good stuff uh, at, at the concert. At the time of my life, you know, from all in all to pole folks with all the hits that they was dropping, phenomenal night, right? Everything was cool. Baby boy might have drunk one beer, just one, just one. And decided not to drive. Said, man, I'm going to need you to drive on the way back and whatever, whatever. And I'm just like, because you know my situation uh, at the time. And you knew I needed you to drive. But I'm just like, whatever. Great night. Energy high. Let's go home. So we are driving 90 miles back to Hattiesburg. And I'm driving. I'm cool. I'm not tired. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm alert. You know what I'm saying? I'm driving down in this little city below Jackson that I shall not name. And all of a sudden, blue, blue, I see the blue lights. And I'm just like, what's going on? You know what I mean? So I pull over. And this fella tells me that he stopped me because I swerved a little bit or I kind of went over the, uh, the, the white line. And I know damn well I didn't. Baby boy, no, I didn't. He was in the passenger seat, right? Basically, he pulled me over for nothing. You saw two brothers coming from the Jackson area at two in the morning and decided to come mess with us. Whatever. So he went and ran my, ran my, ran my license at the time, or, or whatever idea I gave him. And um, you know, at the time, he was probably shot. So, um, whatever. I, I, I ended up in the back of the police car, handcuffed. Now, that's not even the story. Um, so I'm sitting in the back. <clears throat> Handcuff, you know, like man, what is this? You know, how'd I end up here? I was at a great concert, you know what I'm saying? Got to see Napa Rude, blah, blah, blah. Now I'm at the end of the what is that? Because as he's on the other side, on the passenger side, talking to baby boy, uh, either, it was either him or his partner one. Uh, they pull out a pistol. Now, baby boy never told me that he was strapped. He didn't tell me that he was carrying the weapon. I ain't know nothing about it. So you gotta understand something. I'm black in Mississippi and black at two in the morning coming from Jackson, Mississippi and got pulled over for nothing. So the first thing I'm thinking is, uh, what the hell is going on? Cause I'm thinking that he planted something on us. And as I recall, his partner was in the car in front of me. Boy, uh, he, he he was there talking with baby boy about the car. So I'm in the back clowning. I'm like, yo, I don't know what that is. I don't know why he pulled it out of my car. I do not have no weapons on me tonight. I, I don't know what that is. That is not mine. This is bullshit. I'm, I'm like, I'm going hard. Because I know we ain't got no guns on us. We, we went to a concert to have a good time, blah, 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 blah. 
Man, listen, I'm about to, I'm, I'm acting a plum fool. I'm getting nervous. I don't know what's gonna happen. I ain't never, like, what's, what's happening? Like, what you mean? This is not my pistol. How y'all, this gonna be one of them nights? This is Mississippi, and I'm black. What the f So then I find out that they belong to Baby Boy, and it was legal. So I felt better. Because you could have told me you had one with you in that little blue container. You, you could have just mentioned, hey man, I'm strapped, we good. You know, you, you, you know Simon, you could say something. But he didn't say nothing. So since I didn't know nothing, I'm in the backseat sweating. So find out it's legal, man, everything is all good. But because of my situation, let me bring my hands back around here. I'm having a flashback. Because of my situation, um, you know, I, you know, they took me down to the little holding cell or whatever. So, you know, the fact that I got arrested is one thing. The fact that it was so late at night was another whatever coming from Jackson. I feel like I got pulled over for nothing and arrested for something, whatever. But it wouldn't be so bad if I didn't have on like my U2DK jersey. Um, so somewhere out there, somewhere there is a mugshot with me with the U2DK jersey on. <sighs> out, 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 out there in the out there in cyberspace. I'm not my proudest moment. Um, it was crazy, man. But you know, shout out to Baby Boy. He bailed me out of there, um, and you know, he drove on home like he was supposed to do in the first place, or whatever. That will. Anyway, man. Hey, I appreciate y'all for supporting your boy Ecclesi. You know what I'm saying? Um. <laughs> yeah, y'all know what to do, man. If you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can keep up with everything as it pops up. If you're on Facebook, hit the community tab, invite all your friends. Like when you see their names, hit the invite button. You know what I'm talking about? Hit the invite button. Um, you know, keep sharing my videos, man. I appreciate the love. Appreciate y'all. You know what I'm talking about? I'm trying to remember all this stuff so we can keep them coming. You feel me? Um, look, man, as always, thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for showing love. Until next time.